Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Cooler Master just sent over what's probably gonna be my next gaming monitor, the Tempest GP27U. Now this monitor is a 27 inch 4K 160 hertz monitor, but what makes it so special is that it uses mini LEDs. This is on top of it being an IPS panel. It also has adaptive sync, HDR 1000, 90 watt PD charging, and a lot more features. And if you are looking for a gaming monitor, it does have HDMI 2.1 support. And by gaming, I mean console gaming support. So on top of it being great for desktop games, but also next gen consoles. Cooler Master does have a 1440p 165 hertz model of this monitor. In case you're interested in that, I can link to them both down below. But anyways, we're gonna unbox the 4K 160 hertz model, see what comes in the box very quickly, and then of course do some gaming on it, play some desktop games, and I'll even grab my Xbox Series X and try that out, make sure that HDMI 2.1 support works. I also will be streaming on Twitch if you have other questions or just want to hang out using this monitor. So I'll be looking at the monitor and reading your text, uh, your chat, hopefully. So I will link to my Twitch channel if you're interested in following that. But let's get started on the video. Before we get to the panel, let's see what comes in the box. First of all, just a sticker with a ton of information on the monitor. You have your calibration form, which if you're interested, it does have up to 98% DCI-P3 color coverage. Here's our quick start guide warranty information we have the base for the monitor which down at the bottom does have different grips so it's not going to slide all over your desk and then into that base is that stand that will attach to it and then the monitor goes to the back now that panel also does have a visa mount on the back of it i'll show that off once we get to the panel you also have your power brick uh, with the cable that connects to the back of the monitor and your outlet connection also really nice it does come with three display cables. So first of all, you have a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. Nice that that's included. You don't always see that. This one is a display port cable, and then you have your HDMI cable. So you have three different types of cables included to connect to whatever it is that you're looking to connect to it, laptop, you know, game console, desktop. And then of course you have your USB cable as well if you're looking to connect something via USB to the back of the panel. And speaking of, here is the back of that Cooler Master Tempest monitor. There's the power button and probably some menu options in the bottom left there. Flipping it over, we're going to gently set this on the desk so we can take a closer look at the bottom. So there's all of our ports that are included. Power to USB Type A, the connector for the USB ports, USB Type C, one display port, two, U eight, sorry, two HDMI ports, and then a headphone jack as well. And as I had said, this does have Visa mount support. There's also some LED lights on the back here. So those lines right here are actually LED lights. So pretty cool. I'll show those off once we plug the monitor in. Of course, we need to connect the bottom and back plate. I'll probably end up mounting this just so you know, but I'm gonna show it off on the stand for obvious reasons, there is cable management on the back of it. Now, it should be pretty self-explanatory. Just face it forward. And then once you have it connected and flush, like so, you just need to, it does have a you know hand thumb screw down at the bottom that you can just screw it on. And you can tighten it with a screwdriver if you'd like to. I don't really think you need to. That should be more than tight enough. It's not gonna come apart. And we are all set up to connect the monitor. Let's get the panel connected to our stand. Not an ideal angle to be doing this, but should be totally fine. There we go. It is all locked into place, ready to go. If I do turn it, there is a little uh, switch here to let it go. If you do need to disconnect it, if you do decide you want to visa mount it or whatever you need to disconnect it for. So there is multiple ways to turn this monitor left and right. You can tilt it forward and back as well. If you'd like to use this as a vertical monitor, totally possible with the stand just turn it all the way and there's your vertical monitor flipping it back around it can go all the way this way as well just kind of depends on how you want to actually use the monitor and of course up and down the cooler master tempest gp 27 is all set up and ready to go let's get it plugged in and connected to my desktop so our first test is actually going to be with our macbook i just want to check make sure it does charge uh, we have it all plugged in, ready to go. So the charging indicator is now on, and it looks like that light just went green. So I think it just auto-detected that I plugged in a monitor, and it did. So there we go. Uh, upper right-hand corner, it says 3840 by 2160. 
uh, in the screen resolution. So it's outputting via type C. Anyways, everything looks great with this monitor. We are all set up. It is charging our MacBook. Uh, it definitely is, it says an hour 38 minutes until fully charged. So you can get a charge while you're using it. Let's just load up Safari real quick. Everything's smooth, snappy, the colors look. Uh, really good. It was nice that it auto detected when I plugged it into my laptop so that it uh, turned the monitor on right away. Uh, if we do want to go to some settings, we can do so as well. On the back is that power button. If you tap it, it will go to your main settings. If you go left, right, up, or down, there's some quick settings. For example, you can quickly swap picture modes if you'd like to, which is nice because they have movie, they have different games such as FPS, RTS photo and text. Now, if we do dive back into settings, you can change your input selection. Your picture settings are fully adjustable, including that brightness, which, you know, let's turn that up just a little bit more. Even at 30%, it still was fairly bright. So that's, that's very promising to see contrast, black utilization, the aspect ratio, if you'd like to change that and how sharp it is, colors as well, color temperature, if you want a little warmer, cooler on the eyes, Gamma, six axis color, color domain, color space, blue light filter. So blue light filter is nice, especially later on in the day, especially around nighttime, if you don't want to be looking at blue light, especially if you're looking at white screen. Gaming setup, adaptive sync, you can turn that on or off. Overdrive is another option, gaming plus with timer, crosshair, or an FPS counter. So that's cool that you can have an FPS counter from the monitor itself. Advanced, you can turn HDR off or auto. Let's switch it to auto, did not do anything. Uh, so let's go back to our menu here. Uh, in advanced, there's local dimming. You can have it low, medium, and high. So it's up to you if you want uh, to customize that local dim dimming. KVM switch, which is nice because you can have a set of peripherals for mul multiple devices. And then RGB light, let's turn that on. We can check that out. And a quick look at the back panel. So the middle circle does have lights around it and those two wings as well. Just gives it a nice sleek look to the back. I do like it a lot and it's rotating colors. And like I mentioned, one of the biggest draws of the Tempest GP27U is the mini LED panel it does have. It has 576 local dimming zones. Also an HDR can get up to 1200 nits of brightness. So I do expect it to get you know, fairly bright. With it being an IPS panel, viewing angles look really good. Not only that, it's an ultra speed IPS panel, so the response time is up to 0.5 milliseconds. Next up, let's connect our Xbox Series X to the monitor. Test it out, I've been very impressed so far. And again, it is noticing that the console did turn on because this light turned on, so the monitor is going to turn on with it. So this is actually full bandwidth, HDMI 2.1. Let's dive into settings. Uh, you get the full 48 gigabits per second bandwidth. So it will support the latest consoles for true 4K, 120 hertz. Let's dive into display options. There it is, 4K, 120 hertz. Also, I don't know if you can hear this. Probably not. It actually does have uh, speakers built into it, which, you know, some people like, some people don't. It, some people don't need them but it's always nice to have them just for, you know, basic things. Uh, if you're not, you know, connecting speakers, some people need them because, you know, some people don't always wear headsets when they're gaming. All right, so just a quick example of something that's very, very colorful. We're just going to dismiss what I'm wearing, by the way, but we're just gonna play a quick hole in this new golf game, which has been a lot of fun, by the way, in case you're interested and you do like golf. Uh, we're not only going to do this, I really want to test the latency. It seems fine playing this game, but I'll probably load up some, you know, Rocket League or something. All right, but you might also hear the faint sound of the announcers in the background because, yes, like I mentioned, there is speakers. All right, that's pretty good. So now what I want to do is, like I mentioned, let's jump into um, Rocket League and test that out. All right, so the real test of latency here, and I mean, I can already tell right away that it is very low latency. I can, you know, when I move my joystick left or right, the car moves as well. So it's very obvious and clear that it is on low latency. So love to see that. The colors look great. Uh, have n really no complaints so far while doing some gaming on my Xbox. But of course, we can't just game on console. We have to use the superior gaming method, right? 
No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You, you game on whatever you want to game on. But we're going to plug in my desktop now and maybe play some, you know, maybe first person action shooters. And then, of course, check out Windows settings, all, all that good stuff. So let's get my desktop in here and plugged in and let's play some games. So to make it easier, I brought the monitor into the room where I game and stream most of the time. And right away, wanted to check out watching just some videos, just because I'm so used to being in that space watching videos, especially ones with darker colors in them. Thanks to those mini LEDs, the local dimming zones are smaller, which leads to less light bleed, especially when you have a true black spot in contrast with color uh, along the edges of the color and the light. It makes the darker areas just look even darker. And watching some videos, the colors are just more vibrant, accurate, really nice that you can customize them to your liking. It, it, in case you're looking for the specs, it does have 99% Adobe RGB and 160% sRGB. Of course, we have to do some gaming. I've been playing a lot of Apex Legends, which is a fast-paced first-person shooter. Great to test the latency, the response. Everything's very responsive, no issues whatsoever. Again, especially with everything being so quick. Uh, running around the map, you really got to swap guns, you have to, you know, jump, slide down hills, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, it also does have AMD uh, Fr or FreeSync Premium Pro, which also does mean it's G-Sync compatible as well. So depending on if uh, what GPU you have, you do not have to worry about that. And so far, I've been really impressed with this monitor. This will be the one that I have mounted up here. I will be using, playing lots of games, even just, you know, doing some work, watching videos with that 4K resolution is great to have. I do have a GPU that can, you know, crank up the frames per second in games up to that 160 hertz. So I can get 160 frames per second in games. So gaming in 4K is definitely an option for me. Like I said, they do offer a 1440p monitor uh, option if you can't quite get those frames within a 4K monitor. Uh, but anyways, like I said, everything looks really good. The colors, the viewing angles, uh, it's great to have mini LED in a, a gaming monitor. I do hope you enjoyed the video. That is the Tempest GP27U from Cooler Master. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Again, all links are in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching.